All right, hey guys, man, we're back. Got the mask on. Keeping it safe inside of this COVID-19 situation, man. Hey, real quick, man, we're going to talk about the George Floyd hologram. Yes, George Floyd has returned into the physical, just like Tupac, in the form of a hologram, man. Um, the hologram, I guess, is going to do a tour across America to a lot of these states that have Confederate memorials, Confederate monuments, um, you know, are known for their ties with the Confederate Army. And if the state has replaced the Confederate memorial or has taken it down, then the George Floyd hologram will pull up just like Tupac did with Coachella and, you know, I guess start a party or something. I have, I have no clue, man. Um, Here's how I feel about it. I'm glad, you know, number one, that, that the George Floyd Foundation is keeping this guy's memory alive. You know, I don't, I don't think any of any of us will forget his name, you know, the same way we don't forget, you know, um, Trayvon Martin, you know, um, and all the other ones. I mean, there's just hundreds of them now. And yes, it gets you extremely frustrated when you think about it. But at least there's somebody out there that has his corner and is in his corner, you know, keeping his legacy alive, man. You know, that, I think that's one of the most important things when you pass away is what is my legacy going to be? Who's going to carry on my name? Who's going to, you know, put in the work and do the work that I had started and finish it up, you know? So that's a, that's a great thing. But, but with that said, man, I'm a little nervous. I'm a little, you know, kind of curious as to why they didn't use the money to put it back inside of the community. You know, I don't know how much, you know, this, this hologram has cost. I think it was donated from what they say on the, on the media, but I got to read a little bit more. The story had just broke today and I, and I just wanted to talk about it, but you know, I, I hope that, you know, they can, I, I wish they would have done it better. You know what I'm saying? You know, maybe, maybe got with somebody that could have had like a George Floyd school, maybe somebody that could have, you know, just started inside of their community where this guy was from and then started to branch out, you know, branch out, you know, and, and just let it spread, you know what I'm saying? Let it spread out, you know, and get inspired, you know, like, um, green, you know, greenhouses around the hood and the projects, man, you know, um, you know, community events where they clean up the hood and, and feed the homeless, you know what I'm saying? And, and I just, I hope that that's where it's going. I hope that that's where the money um, it's going from and going towards because I think that, you know, doing things like bringing holograms out and, and just knowing just how much it costs for, for Tupac's hologram, I'm just thinking, I mean, obviously, you know, this is not the same level. This is just a, from what I can see, it looks like a whole bunch of, uh, of gold um, sparkles, you know what I'm saying? Gold um, fireflies, if you will. And then they all come together and they, and they, they, spell out his name George Floyd and then in the in between George and Floyd they'll have his head you know there you know what I'm saying so it's like it's like a holo hologram a memorial monument you know what I'm saying like the, the Mount Rushmore if you will and uh yeah I just I hope that that's what you know they can do man because that's that's the hardest thing to do man especially inside of a you know a black uh, neighborhood man and black communities man is to is to you know, pick up the trash, man, and, and clean up the cars, you know, the, 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 uh, the, um, abandoned cars, dilapidated buildings. Um, I mean, just a matter of fact, man, just, just take a look, you know, I don't know if you guys can see this as I'm driving, but I mean, just, just take a look. I'm, I'm actually riding through the projects, man, right now, you know, and this is, this is the same, the same stuff that you see here is the same stuff that you see all across, you know, America and all across the world, you know what I'm saying? So, and there goes the, there goes the police, you know what I'm saying? Just right there. <laughs> so I'm hoping that that's what, you know, the, the end goal is, man. Um, but I'm, I'm most importantly, I'm just really happy that, you know, something positive is coming out of it. But what I do worry about in the end is that if you bring this hologram around, are people going to get infected? You know, we saw what happened with Herman Cain. We saw what happened with a lot of people that are not taking this as serious as they should, meaning wearing your mask and not wearing your mask and going out in public and doing just a lot of crazy stuff. And then you end up paying for it, man. And then we saw this video and I'm not really sure 
where the video came from so i'm not going to comment on exactly what the video was pertaining to i'm not going to comment who was in the video and i'm not going to comment where i saw the video at but what i will say is this there was a whole hell of a lot of black people inside of this video and about 60 to 70 percent were wearing their masks but as the music got louder as the celebration intensified it quickly dropped to like 40 percent 30 percent 20 percent and then you had people that were you know talking and touching and just being around each other closer and closer as the event went on man and it's just it's scary man it really really is terrifying man you know it's not that you know we're afraid of 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 the virus itself you know what i'm saying i think that healthy young people will survive it but what's scary and it's happened inside of my household is that something normal you know that that occurs as far as the flu pneumonia you go into the hospital and then you get diagnosed with covid 19 and you don't make it out so that's what happened to my grandmother and that's what pisses me off the most, man, because people aren't really taking it serious for, for, your, for your elders, man. And for every old person that dies, it's a library of information that goes along with them. And then you sit there thinking to yourself, like, man, I didn't have an opportunity, you know what I'm saying, to ask all the questions that I wanted. And we're losing them in droves, man. It's just crazy how many old people are dying and we're sitting here left with some people that I'm not gonna even mention their names, but we're still stuck with them. All the great old people that have these stories and these adventures and you know this experience of their life, they're gone in an instant and you don't get an opportunity to tell them exactly how you feel and how much you love them. And I guess you know the moral of the story is just appreciate them while they're here, love them while they're here, man. But yeah, that's that's my rant, man. I'm I'm over. That's my thoughts on uh, you know the George Floyd uh, hologram. Leave your thoughts below, and uh, yeah, I hope that uh, it turns out good, and hopefully you know people are wearing their mask, and you know, hope it just doesn't turn into something crazy like Coachella or something like that, and then more people get infected and bring it home to their you know grandparents, and then all of a sudden, boom, you know more people are dead, man. So yeah, we got to keep that. Um, to keep a positive positive and don't have any negative in it right here guys that's it take it easy subscribe comment share all that if not i don't care Four thousand views man oh my gosh thank you guys so much man on that last video man i really appreciate it and we're sitting close to the uh solid 4k subscribers so hopefully that happens too man and you guys continue doing that we're on the goal to ten thousand, man that's that's always been the goal so let's continue on guys right here take it easy